Can you tell me uh, what do we mean by QHR? Well, QHR really is more of a byproduct. It's not our chief mission. We don't go out there and we say you have to assassinate your HR department. That's not the point of it, right? What we're saying is that uh, um, from our own experience, HR has really been stuck in a hole and all we've been doing is digging the hole deeper by the way that we've approached the whole thing. So we thought that oh, we need something radical to get unstuck, right? And we, we think there's two approaches out there that really work, which is either the, the dual hatting, so you really step into the business and you do HR from there, or you approach the whole thing with HR shouldn't be there as a function at all, it should be a competency that lives entirely in the teams, right? Um, either way you approach this, you need a new, you new framework for, for the entire organization to kind of function, a new management framework, and we think that in in the times of digitization and, and more egalitarian work environments where we need to reply to such rapidly shifting markets, we need a radical shift and HR can be the shifter for this, but for that it needs to get unstuck and we kind of like hope that we can light a fire under the HR, HR functions as to do that. And what is our age? Well, it's basically the, the antidote to the HR department's problem, if you want, right? So what we say is um, go into the organization and apply a radical management framework that is based on 100% entrepreneurship and 0% bureaucracy, right? Completely unreasonable. Go in with the, the most audacious expectations that you can have and apply a new game design-based change management approach to get the organization to a much flatter, much more distributed network uh, design where everybody really focuses on the customer and contributes together in a, in a way that is beyond hierarchies and beyond bureaucracy. So when we, when we mix QHR and then love our, our age together, um, what is the ultimate outcome of it all? it'll be a radically changed uh, mandate for the HR function, I think. Because when you go in and you say, hey guys, you know, let's assume the organization would be so simple that you don't need an HR, you don't need classical management that tells you what to do, but everybody really knows what they have to contribute for the customer to contribute the best value, then suddenly your mandate changes to actually having fun, not to justify my function, but I'm actually doing something in service of an end goal that we all know that we're striving towards and we get out of this hamster wheel and the way I understand this is you want to put the fun back in the HR function so it is something where we get out of this scapegoat function we are the police and we are the the, the, the back of the bus if you want to someone who can really drive the change which might radically alter what we have to do and what we have to learn we'll have to stretch as HR professionals but we finally get into a zone where we love our work again so um, taking the, the, the game, uh, gaming and then the process and you, you mentioned how you actually, actually um, terminated your own job in terms of the, the HR function and you really worked with the organization to achieve that. Can you tell me a little bit about that process? Well, it, it's interesting because, I mean, first of all, it didn't feel like a kamikaze function, right? I mean, it, uh, a mission. It, it felt more sort of like an Obi-Wan Kenobi mission, right? That there's a Luke Skywalker out there and we, we have to get that guy into a position where he can go out on his own and be the next Jedi. And for that, we might have to pass on to the next level. It, it felt more like that. Um, and what we did was we, we took what I just mentioned before. We took the, the game design approach of more experience-based change, right? So what we said was, what, what would an organization feel like where people are completely liberated, where they're free to pursue the interest of the customer in a way that they feel is right as a team and not in a way that is mandated by the management. Um, it, it becomes a much more iterative game design based process and we use certain technologies to hack the human behavior and to get there. Do you have uh, anything um, else what you would like to share with, with um, our audience? Well, I think what it comes down to is that our age, in, in, in essence, is very practical, right? That there are things that we've tackled which are the big problems of any organization, which are performance, feedback, and, and meetings. And we're offering solutions to say, 
get into this spirit, get on that way of resourceful humans on a very pragmatic way by creating a, a demand-based change. So to say, we all hate our meeting culture, all right, let's try this particular tool and through that tool get this change on the way. So don't do the big bang anymore. Try to infiltrate the system and infect the system from within by addressing pain points that everybody appreciates you bringing a solution to. I think that puts HR into a very different position.